What's up, everyone, and welcome back to Movie Raids. These flicks were simply never meant to succeed. For this list, we're looking at movies that everyone knew would be awful long before they hit theaters. The list includes Ghostbusters, Justice League, Gods of Egypt, and more. The Emoji Movie. What's he going? He's making the wrong face! As most people put it, how can a movie about emojis be good? Also, why would you do an entire movie about them? When rumors about the film started spreading around, people were simply confused about what kind of plot would a movie about random faces and objects on an iPhone keyboard that is used for texting provide. The Lego Movie is another example with a similar concept, but everyone loved it. So, where did the Emoji Movie go wrong? Well, there is simply no thought behind their creation aside from expressing everyday life while texting. Instead of spending the money on a movie about something that could really bring out a great story, the creators went on for a film about emojis. As most fans put it, this movie makes the Angry Birds movie look like a masterpiece. Ghostbusters Hey, you sweaty freaks! I'm about to save you from this ghost! Ah! When the intention of a third Ghostbusters was rumored, starring the original cast, fans were quite happy. But when the idea of an unnecessary reboot was born, well, that was quite unexpected. So why was the reboot doomed from the start? It's simple. There is no reason to do another Ghostbusters film without the original cast. Unfortunately, Harold Ramis passed away unexpectedly in 2014, and fans simply don't want another Ghostbusters film without the late star. The idea of another Ghostbusters film should have died with him. Also, let's talk about the four of the most famous movie characters from the past 40 years being turned into ladies. According to most fans, the idea is awful, and the reboot is not something that should prove the equality agenda. Do you guys agree? Justice League Tell me. Do you bleed? One of the most anticipated films, Justice League, was somehow doomed from its very promotion days. These types of films are often known to be successful, and some fans were honestly disappointed with Justice League. Except for some comic relief and some good action scenes, the film is, according to many disappointed fans, dull, predictable, and dreary. It's simply nothing compared to its Marvel rivals. Nevertheless, the film did a lot of bucks in theaters, but that did not stop fans from expressing their feelings about how bad the film was. One of the reasons the film was doomed from the start was the villain. Steppenwolf, voiced by Ciaran Hines, was, according to most fans, a lousy villain. The way his character is presented in the film is just bad. He's simply this bad guy who, for we have no idea what reason, has an army of robot creatures with laser guns. What do you guys think was the problem with Justice League? Let us know. Gods of Egypt Warm yourself. I command you. People will never forget the promotional campaign for the Gods of Egypt movie. To be honest, how can we? It was probably the worst campaign ever, and if you ever decide to watch the film, you should just take a look at the first set of posters for Gods of Egypt that are a pretty good description of the quality of the final film. The film's focus is on the fight between Horus, Nicolaj Coaster Waldo, and his uncle, Set, Gerard Butler, and it takes place in ancient Egypt. Based on this, and only this, you probably think that a good movie would be born, but oh, you're so wrong. Gods of Egypt is a lousy movie, and as a lot of fans state, it's so bad it's good, or maybe so ridiculous it's fun. The Avengers You could not live with your own failure. A huge fan base doesn't make a great movie, a great plot does. Based on this, Endgame is the most awful MCU movie ever made. There are many reasons why Endgame is a huge mess, and the main reason is the plot makes no sense at all. According to many experts, the film features the worst written script ever. As we all know, the Infinity Stones control the very existence of the universe. These Infinity Stones each control an essential aspect of existence, but the stones are destroyed in just a few weeks. First, Wanda destroys the Mind Stone, and then Thanos destroys all of them. Um, why are there no consequences? Then there's the Infinity Stones together. Create what you experience as the flow of time. Remove one stone and that flow is split. This may benefit your reality, but mine, not so much. If I give up the stone, I'm dooming my reality. Bruce Banner, here's these lines. So the question is, how Thanos was able to destroy the stones? Also, as we previously said, the storyline missed the consequences that were, um, somehow expected to happen. Food Fight Yet another film that goes under the So Bad It's Good category, Food Fight is a movie that will keep you amazed. It will keep you questioning yourself how the hell did you decide to watch such a film? The film is bad, as many critics and people all over the world claim, but what's even weirder is that it cost 45 to 65 million dollars to make? Their reason? Well, everything that is involved in the film. The animation is so awful and the movements are just so odd and absurd. Oh, let's also talk about the writing. Here are two lines from the film. 
Frankly, my dear, I don't give a spam, and you're just a cold farted itch. The voice actors involved in the project are Charlie Sheen, Hilary Duff, and Christopher Lloyd, and it's such a waste of talent, to be honest. Nevertheless, in summary, Food Fight is, without a doubt, the worst film in the history of cinema. Son of the Mask As we're all familiar, sequels and reboots are a popular thing these last few years, and Son of the Mask is the perfect example of why directors shouldn't make sequels to the original, already successful films. When we say the Son of the Mask is bad, we really mean it. It currently sits as the 10th worst movie ever made on IMDb, which is an extraordinary achievement. It has won many awards, including Worst Picture, Worst Director, Worst Actor, Most Intrusive Musical Score, Foulest Family Film, Most Painfully Unfunny Comedy, and Least Special Special Effects. Nevertheless, the film was doomed from its very start. Starring Jamie Kennedy, Trailer Howard, Alan Cumming, and a small role for Cal Penn, it tried to be a continuation of the first Mask film with Jim Carrey that was released in 1994, but it surely failed. And when you hear what everyone has to say about this film, just trust them. The Last Airbender The Last Airbender is an agonizing experience in every category I can think of and others still waiting to be invented. This is what Roger Ebert's review of The Last Airbender said. Now this is M. Night Shyamalan's most expensive and, eventually, worst film ever. So what went wrong with this film? Well, ever since the promotions, the film was living on low expectations which later were proved to be true. The series, created by Michael Dante DiMartino and Brian Konetsko, features a world destroyed by war. In this world, people who have talents can control the four elements – air, water, earth, and fire. The writing, the plot, the concept of the storylines is truly weak and wicked. John Carter John Carter is often referred to as Disney's biggest mistake, so why was this sci-fi considered so? The 2012 film is based on the famous Bar Soom series by Edgar Rice Burroughs, and the film was in fact one of the most expensive films Disney ever made. We can't really say that the film was doomed from its start, but at least Disney hoped it wasn't and the company truly tried their best for the John Carter movie, an Oscar-winning director and more than 2,000 visual effects shots. Also, the film was supposed to be a trilogy. However, it resulted in Disney announcing a $200 million write-down on the movie the cost of $350 million. Including an estimated production budget of $263 million, John Carter only made $284.1 million worldwide. R.I.P.D. When the comedy R.I.P.D. was released, um, it surely did come upon some bad critics. The film stars Jeff Bridges and Ryan Reynolds as a pair of dead lawmen who return to Boston to face a crowd of zombies called Deados. With a budget of $135 million, R.I.P.D. has an awful script by Phil Hay and Matt Manfredi, and it just looks like the producers were simply hanging out and said, oh well, let's just shoot this film in three days. Do you guys think there's a film we forgot to mention? Also, which of these films is according to you the worst one? Let us know in the comment section below. If you enjoyed our video, make sure you subscribe to our channel so you never miss any of our videos in the future. As always, thanks for watching.